Hi, 30 year male with severe left L3 radiculopathy, MRI showing left foraminal extra foraminal disc prolapse. So left transforaminal endoscopic discectomy was done in this patient, position prone with epidural analgesia, needle showing more deeper entry here, working in the foramen. Once a scope is placed, you can see the cranial caudal, the muzzle fibers are coagulated a bit. Six o'clock is the disc area where we need to work out and the nine o'clock is the exiting route. So we work in this area where <coughs> the fragment is situated somewhere between the six o'clock and nine o'clock. Once the dissection is done with the radio frequency, you can see the disc surface and my exiting route been covered by the cannula. So once the annular opening is defined in the center of our field, so we just try to put a forceps there and try to remove the fragment after confirming on CM. Once the fragment is held, it is removed gently. A bit of Tissue is cut here and the forceps is used to gently grab the fragment and pull the fragment gently. We can see here the fragment is coming out with a blood tinged epidural component which has been removed. Once the fragment is out, you should not be happy, you should search for more fragments because sometimes the fragment get fragmented. So after hemostasis, using either a dissector or a hook, the further fragments are searched. Again, to orient ourselves, the exiting route is between nine o'clock and six o'clock position. So there is some fragment still seen just below the annular fibers. So fiber, uh, the residual fragments are removed and any loose fragments intradiscally are also removed. So there are some fragments here, loose fragments seen are removed and coagulated. So hook is used to hook out any fragments. High frequency radio frequency RF is used here to shrink the lose remaining fragments. Once this is done, finally I am checking using a hook towards the 12 to 9 o'clock position in our video here to see any residual fragments. You can see there is a fragment here which is uh, hooking out of the annulus. So you can see the extra annular fragment here lying just below the fiber. So that fragment is grabbed again and fragment is removed. Once this fragment is out, hemostasis is attained and again checked for any fragments. So once this is done, you can see now the exiting route nicely at the <coughs> nine o'clock position. You can see the exiting route, that's the exiting route. The annular surface is free now, below the exiting route there is no fragment. That's the annular surface and route is free. Once this is done, hemostasis is attained and cannula is removed. So always to remember here, we should not do use excessive RF and be careful with the exiting road. Once this is confirmed, just hemostasis is attained and cannula is removed. You can see the fragment. Thank you.